Hello, my name's John Beatty, and this is my new book, Wild Vision. I'm very excited about it because this is the first time I've been able to gather my photographs together from a lifetime of photography and tell stories from my adventures around the world in the last 25 years. But I've come here today to the Peak District of Derbyshire where I live and this is a place that has inspired me all my life and so I thought it would be good to read a short section about these lovely moors. For a bleak place, the moors of the Peak District are surprisingly alive. Perhaps it is the apparent starkness that one can truly know the life of a place. This is Merlin country, of sweet summer scent and of winter survival, a land where the slender curlew trills to the empty beauty of the wide sky and the simple curve and sweep of distant hills. Like a visual mantra and voiced by the spirits of long gone by, wild boar clough, Cloudberry moss, Crowden and Adders Green. They have borne witness to great geologic and climatic changes since their formation 60 million years ago, when tropical forests were inundated by shallow seas and in turn, sheets of crawling ice and torrential melt moulded the land into its present wind-eroded, rock-edged fastnesses. Winter brings an arctic echo to this dark landscape with temporary permafrost not unlike the tundra of the Northlands. But soon, amongst the roughest sedge, marsh marigold, ladies' smock and cotton grass fringe the peaty pools with delicate colours and swathes of bobbing heads. In any moorland stream lined with hanging heather and flowering rowan, you'll find the stoat and vole, and may be honoured by the strange presence of the ring oozle. On any day of the year, there is space up here. Space to reflect, time to listen to other voices and to have a conversation with the land.